Hi guys, what's happening? Today we're going to be talking about Metabase. Metabase is an open source uh, database visualization tool and it looks a little <coughs> bit like this. Here we have dashboards, questions, pulses, data and new questions. So let's look at the example at a new question. This is a brand new um, deployment of Metabase and it's really simple to set up. You can set, set it up with as little as one click onto Heroku if you'd like. Sometimes uh, you can uh, buy another server, maybe uh, for $10 a month, 30 How to play Metabase to Heroku with just a click. And I'm going to leave this link in the description also, but it's as simple as that. You need to put your credit card into Heroku just for the sake of it, but they're not necessarily going to charge you. Uh, one sec, I'll talk to you after the video. Okay, and that's going to help you set up Metabase. Eventually, they're going to ask you for a username and password. And finally, I can, oh, how to create metrics. What's a metric? I don't know. I don't want to create a metric. I just want to ask a new question. Custom question. Right, you can use a custom question, a SQL query, and you can do that. Once you start using the SQL query, you can do a lot of other cool stuff. Um, first, I want to see exactly what the... Uh, crap, now we need to reload it because the moment you switch to Please. SQL, you can't go back. Uh, I'll talk to you after the video is finished. I can't right now. I'm in the middle of the video. Uh, Biloe means uh, trips and stuff like that. All right, fine. So we have orders, people, products, and reviews. Let's look at what the orders table looks like here. And uh, this is nice for if you have non technical people on your team. Okay, orders created at previous 30 days, add filter. Let's see what we get there. <sighs> Maybe we have none. I'll just do a simple query one more time. Okay, that's kind of nice, right? That's kind of interesting. It gets a whole lot more interesting in a second, though. Let's see, alt. I'm going to use the snipping tool here in order to hold on to this. Uh, damn, this thing I don't need. Let's see, a snipping tool. Snipper. Okay. And we have a snipper. Here we go. These four things here. We're gonna save that, good. Select all from orders. I'm gonna go to switch to SQL. View the SQL, convert this question to SQL. And let's see, select all from orders. Yes, orders. Let's see what kind of. Yeah. Anyhow, as you can see, everything here works really nicely. You can do it as a SQL question or as an actual um, uh, bar chart question, as you saw. Let's say I save this. I'm going to press save. I'm going to save it as orders. And then I'm going to press save. Next step is I can add it to a dashboard, <coughs> orders, and I will create. And now I have this beautiful table of orders that I can share anywhere on the web. Okay, so here's all my orders. I press save here. And bada bing bada boom, I have a dashboard named orders. <coughs> Next, I go to edit the dashboard. And I want to share the dashboard, but we can't do that here. So I need to go to Leash K. I need to go to Admin Panel. <coughs> so that's going to allow us to make this whole. Now, all right, this is the deploy button. We're going to send you guys that. Segments and metrics, creating custom segments and metrics. Let's see, uh, this, I don't really use this feature. But that's okay. It's got a lot of stuff, excuse me. We're going to be looking in a second at this type of 